What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean, so if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. <sighs> crypto Crew, if it wasn't clear already, Binance has its eyes set on Caspa. The other day, Wolfie from Team Caspa mentioned this at sin city crypto tomorrow we're going to be on an ama with binance.com uh, for their mining pool so that's that's exciting uh that they're they're uh engaging with caspa and 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 broadcasting to their community about caspa and mining making an appearance representing cas media as the director of research was Nicholas Sismil, who, interestingly enough, prior to his association with Cast Media or Caspa, worked at Binance USA for over three years and more than two years. Nicholas Sismil worked in the listings research department, and my man was bullish on Caspa before he was associated to Caspa when he was still working at Binance. Caspa is uh, another cryptocurrency that is using proof of work, same as uh, Bitcoin, as most of us <laughs> will know. So could you please elaborate on how the, the proof of work concept of Caspa is uh, different uh, from other cryptocurrencies? So first, I think it's important to understand uh, why proof of work is necessary. And to do so, we have to think about the nature of money. So to create a perfect form of money. Money must possess three different qualities. First, it must be a store of value. Second, it must function as a medium of exchange. And third, it must act as a unit of account. So the most difficult qualities for a form of money to obtain from this triangular puzzle, so to speak, are, to, are the store value and the medium of exchange part. Um, so there's three necessary conditions for good to be a store of value. It must have unforgeable costliness. Uh, this means that it's expensive and it's difficult to forge, replicate, or produce. Um, and secondly, there's a, there has to be a mechanism in place to restrict the ease of forgery, replication, or production. So in the case of gold and silver, this would be mining. And in the case of proof of work, this would be the difficulty adjustment in addition to mining as well. Um, also, there has to be an objective supply instead of a subjective supply, uh, thereby creating an objective unit account. Um, so money has to be hard, and its hardness is determined by its stock-to-flow ratio. Uh, historically, gold, silver, the gold standard, and Bitcoin have functioned like store value, uh, but we've never actually seen a form of money that has uh we've never seen a hard form of money that has been a good medium exchange this is why fiat was so revolutionary as bad of a store value as it is it was the first form of money um that was saleable across space so it could handle settlement speeds that we've never seen before um and bitcoin tried to function like a medium exchange but it felt short of this because it's slow cumbersome expensive uh, to handle high settlement speeds that match fiat, for example. Um, I have a little joke I call Bitcoin the boomer coin because of these reasons. Um, uh, and, and also, it's just impossible to develop a layer two for Bitcoin to function as a medium exchange, maybe for DeFi, but not for it to function as a form of money. Because uh, in order to do this, you would need to fundamentally change the properties and function of proof of work consensus. You would need to uh, make proof of work fast without compromising security or de decentralization. And essentially, you would need to solve the blockchain trilemma. And um, the, if for people that don't know, the blockchain trilemma is, is to have a base settlement layer that achieve security, decentralization, and scalability all, all at the same time. And there's a coin that does this. It's or there's a block dag. It's not a blockchain. It's a block dag, and it does this. And it's Caspa. Um, so because Caspa has solved the blockchain trilemma, it has also achieved the world's first perfect form of money. It has all these. It has all three char characteristics of what money could be. Um, so it's a store of value, it's a unit of account, and it can pr process transactions at speeds that match fiat. 
and it can become a medium of exchange. Um, not only that, but uh, at Cast Media, we, we have a great data analyst, and she was able to calculate that Caspa will eventually have the highest stock to flow ratio in history, surpassing Bitcoin. And this should occur around 2029, um, thereby making it the hardest form of money in history as well. Definitely. And also like the the its unique block deck architecture that makes it like um, suitable for various application and uh, low confirmation times. That's uh, actually very interesting. Thank you, Nikos. Hello there. Hey, I'm Wolfie. I am uh, I volunteer as director of business development for CASPA. Uh, I'm over here in Southern California and I've been with CASPA since it was two weeks old. And um you know, I basically try to uh, reach out to any platform that has uh, the big boys like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana on there and, uh, you know, mining platforms, exchanges, wallets, uh, hardware wallets. And uh, I want to see Casper right up there next to the big guys. Uh, yeah, we are curious about uh, what are the usage scenarios of CAS and how does it integrate into the real world payment systems? Sure. So at the moment, uh, Casper is a uh, it's a coin. Right. And um, we have we have some uh, we have merchants and retail stores around the world uh, that the list is growing every week uh, where they'll just have a real simple little QR code by the by the cash register where the people pay. And uh, they'll accept the actual Caspa coin, uh, which is a, a near instant settlement time. So uh, like where everybody on the show here is we're from around the world. If I was to send Caspa coins to any of you guys, you would actually see it show up in one second one second and it would be uh, have 10 confirmations and be ready to send to somebody else in 10 seconds uh, and that's at the current speed we're going to have upgrades that we're going to talk about uh, shortly um, and also uh, furthermore we have a uh, KRC20 which we're going to speak about also that's uh, an inscription protocol that's going to allow the creation of stable coins so we'll have uh, the possibility of adding things like US work um, to to harness that that very fast throughput and uh fast confirmation time. And then also we even have some uh, outside the industry, outside crypto industrial players that just um, just showed up uh, and created a foundation called Caspa Industrial Initiative. These guys showed up a couple months ago and they're interested to use uh, the network, the uh, block DAG technology of Caspa to create an energy trading token. So these guys uh, are a huge group of partners um, from the desert regions. Uh, they, if you Google this, DII Desert uh, Initiative, uh, you'll see in the um, advisor board these 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 bosses and CEOs from huge energy in uh, Middle East, North Africa, China, and European regions. Uh, these guys all need to have a censorship resistant. Um, token to trade energy credits and, and they settle every 15 minutes, 24 hours a day. They're either taking energy from the grid or putting extra energy back on the grid. And so those guys are looking to uh, to use the technology of CASPA moving forward as well. Wow, that's like for the fast confirmation time is actually that's the really important thing now. So, I mean, like I said previously, CASPA fulfills, you know, it's the perfect form of money. So, of course, it's going to be uh, a real world payment system, even more so it could be a stateless world reserve currency. Um, I just want to make the distinction between proof of work and proof of stake for, you know, People might ask, why not use proof of stake technology such as Ethereum or Solana uh, and so on for a payment system? You know, why not use these? Um, the reason is that proof of work produces a commodity monetary premium, whereas proof of stake produces an equity monetary premium. So within proof of work, there is no human form of governance securing the system. Uh, it is secured by hash power via energy capital expenditures, and from that it produces the commodity monetary premium. On the other hand, proof of stake is secured and governed by the token it creates. So much like the holders of traditional equity who have a governing force in the management of a company, so too do they, um, so too do the token holders, for example, uh, Ethereum, have a governing force of a proof of stake system. So in this sense, proof of stake, um, proof of stake tokens are a new form of equities. Um, and because of this, you don't really have decentralized finance yet. You have equity, equities secured by equities rather than by actual money. 
Um, so you kind of have this circular empty feedback loop where something that isn't backed by anything is backing the very system that created that something that isn't backed by anything. Um, so with Casper, you have a solution to this to the current to, to the current traditional payment system as it's as fast as fiat, but as hard as proof of work. And um, decentralized finance can finally be decentralized once smart contracts are implemented within Casper. And we could talk about that more later too. It's really cool that Binance has given Casper some exposure. At the same time, it's really cool to see all these key figures from all these different projects associated with Casper, repping Casper and showing not only the passion to give time and to explain the project for those who are not familiar with Casper yet. And the Binance Casper Live Special was a success as it drew quite some eyeballs. <sighs> and so Crypto Crew, if you haven't noticed already, every day there are more and more eyes drawing towards Casper, more developments from the project within. The tech is being recognized and even the big exchanges are starting to welcome Casper and soon all of the crypto ocean will have to recognize the anomaly that is Casper. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly. If you haven't already, do your research on Casper and pack your bags ASAP because the Casper ship is about to set sail, never to return to these prices below 20 cents once the ship has sailed. Into the boat! Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean, growing grace, and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.